presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Eddie in Boca Raton. Hey, Eddie, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. It is a treasure to have TFNN every hour during the trading day to be there to help you, to guide you, and even to give you some peace of mind or like that, that somebody else is there with you while you're, while you're trading this crazy market, either up or down. Well, listen, we appreciate you growling following us out here because we wouldn't be out here, folks, if we didn't have all you guys, gals, tigers and tigresses as clients. And, you know, the market teaches you every single day, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great night, folks, and a great week. Serve the one you love. Once you decide to be a couple, you're there to serve the one you love, to serve your love to your lover in every kiss, Every touch you feel, you're there to please the one you love without expecting anything back. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 299, NASDAQ up 267, S&P's up 46, gold contract up $4.30 trade, 1980 an ounce. We have silver up 20 cents, $25.93 an ounce. Light sweet crude up $3.72, $104.31 a barrel, notes and bonds. 10-year note, up a tick trade in 120.24. 30-year up 21 at 143.03 in King Dollar. King Dollar down 439 ticks trade in 99.853. Euro 108. Yen out here at 125.62. And the British pound is trading out here at 131 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of TFNN, folks. We got our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. He's going to be doing a live webinar, 4 to 5. This webinar, folks, is going to basically be talking about with higher interest rates, soaring commodities, and warring nations. Is it possible that the stock market is going to make new all-time highs? Now, it's very easy to get into this webinar. So the way this works, folks, is this. If you're a subscriber of Basil's opening call, bottom line, you're coming into the webinar. How do you get to be a subscriber to Basil's web, web, uh, opening call? It's very easy. Just come over to our website at TFNN. Bottom line, you're going to hit that opening call right in the features content. You hit subscribe. You can get that for one month for $149. You can get it for six months for $695, which is a savings of $199. And you get it for a year for $1,195, which is a savings of $593. Now, they, it's all a 30-day money-back guarantee. So come over and check it out. Then you're a subscriber. You'll be in this event this afternoon, 4 to 5.30. I got our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, right here just to give us a little update on what he's going to be growling and prowling and hitting that wave on, man. Hi, Tom. How you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. I'm going to make it as simple as possible. In the Chapman Wave methodology, we're always looking to identify the low bar and see each successively higher peak uh, as they rise. I alphabetize them. Peak A is the first, and the next highest peak is B, C, D. You can go all the way to G, but at D, that's where other things can happen. That's number one. And number two is when I get a buy signal upgraded to a buy mode, the implication is that there should be at least four higher peaks. On the right side chart over here, I'm showing the Dow, the S&P made a peak B at 48.18.62. That means, based on the Chapman Wave methodology, especially a monthly chart, it should still go to a leg C higher than that 48.18, and it should then still go to a leg D. That's just, it doesn't tell you how deep it can fall, but it says it should still get there. And I have a methodology that I'm going to show and talk about. But I also wanted to say, talking about that peak D, for subscribers, if they were fortunate enough um, to join my uh, for the webinar, um, in the last few days, we, we had a, a, 
a buy signal on the stock called Uranium Energy Core. It's trading now at six dollars and forty six cents. Today alone, it's up twelve percent. Nice. But we got it. We got it uh, lower down. We just missed adding to it by one penny, but we still have a very nice position. And there it is, that leg D. So it's made it the second D. The first one was on the tenth of March at five thirty nine. Took a long time to digest gains, and then it soared away. And it did this. Look at this beautiful cup formation. That's what I'm going to be teaching. Look at the the number of bars on the left side in the weekly chart to the right side is exactly the same as it came back and broke that 579 high. So I teach about the symmetry of the market, cup formations, art formations. Look at the, look at this monthly chart, a huge one. There's this green line, that's the Chapman Wave inside wedge target resistance line. So there are a number of aspects. It's not just will there be higher highs in 2022. It's the techniques that we're looking at, uh, the relationship of different sectors, etc. So this is really exciting. And uh, uh, this is the proof of the pudding right here that we were looking for leg D and there's your leg D. And folks, okay, so it's very easy to get into this workshop. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're gonna see it right under featured content. You just hit that subscribe button, subscribe. You're gonna, they said, you'll get a link into Discord if you're not in Discord yet, okay? But please don't wait to four o'clock. We're all set up here. Jacob's been doing a hard, time, hard job. Tommy's been doing a good job. We have a lot of, if we see so many people are in here, Basil, it's gonna love it. It's, it's, it's awesome. Oh, uh, you guys are doing a great it's, job. It, it should be so easy it, to get in and just sign up. So, it, what, so Tom, they, they get an email back, right? Yes. That, that, exactly. And then what they've been doing, with, what Jacob's been doing is just emailing them personally. So they're calling them right up and bringing them right in. So please do it right now. Don't wait till four o'clock, okay? Um, there's going to be three of us here trying to handle it at four o'clock, but please do it now, okay? It's really easy. It's simple. And you're going to get a, an Good. outstanding workshop. Well, Basil, you have a great one, a safe one. And of course, uh, look forward to listening at four o'clock. So am I. Thank you very much, Tom. Thanks, Looking man. Have to a... see many uh, tigers. Thank you. I know. It's awesome. <laughs> and, <laughs> folks, if you hadn't come into our Discord room yet, um, right on the front page of TFNN, we get an amazing trading room. Um, you know, we always we had Hotcom, I mean, bottom line, this is a lot better than Hotcom. You can do a lot more things, and that's, the technology just, you know, keeps going. And, and Discord's only a, a dollar a day, a dollar a day, a dollar for the year, folks, okay? Uh, you know, we have uh, this active as 107 people in there right now, and there's another 100 or so people that just aren't in there at this particular point. I mean, so you got some yeah, 113. So there's some real good action. You get some real good ideas. They toss them around. They see where things are going to go. Pretty cool. So let's go take a look at some of the higher volume. Well, first off, we're not going to have any volume out here today. Watch this. This is going to be pretty cool watching this. So. Volume-wise, you can see in the NYSE, you get 900, 451 million right now versus 927 yesterday. When you're at 451 at quarter past three, bottom line, that thing is going to do about 758. Uh, the NASDAQ composite, this is really shrinking. The composite, we're at 3.7, so you're going to do about 4.5. Bottom line, when you come down on volume, up on light volume, guess what? The trend is downtown, folks. Dow Industrials right now up 329, Nasdaq's up 272, S&P's up 48. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TESS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TESS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at DFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free! Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 339. Nasdaq's up 282. S&Ps are up uh, 50. We go to the Dow Industrials. We take a look at the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow Industrials. Point-wise, here, here's what we got out here, folks, is that uh, you get Boeing putting 41 positive points, Microsoft 39, Home Depot 34, Walmart 27. Taken away from it. J.P. Morgan 29, Travelers 11, and let's go to J.P. Morgan, because J.P. Morgan, folks, is an ABC structure down. Right from the get-go this morning. Couldn't handle the, the, the market, the bottom line, broke a B, broke it with volume. The B point we're talking about in J.P. Morgan is 128.73. You needed 12 million shares, you get 24 million. This is a D, I think it's a 117 number here. Let's see, 147, 128, yeah, it is. And this, yeah, 134. So you get a 117 number on this, you're at 127. We put this on a monthly for a second. That's 123, oh, this is interesting, man. So check this out. The, the price projection here, okay, is actually uh, into the low, the high of the low bar. So we'll see how this shakes out because the high should basically give, you know, some support the first time down. Uh, you know, we're talking about that's 122.94. We got a 117 price projection. You know, you, you broke the consolidation. You can see how you broke this consolidation. We put this on a weekly, and the bottom line is that, you know, this thing broke all the way at 147. You're at 20 bucks low, lower now, and, you know, what's game here, we'll see how the 117 hangs up. But... You have that gap that's wide open at 105. So that's going to get intriguing. The write down wasn't that dramatic for Ukraine. It was uh, 524 million. That's nothing for JP Morgan, um, number wise. So we'll see if that's, that's it with the write down. Uh, when you talk about revenue, they, they did 31 billion. They're looking to do 31 billion uh, next quarter also. I'm not quite sure how they see this jump next year. They, they're looking for a jump next year. The market's not believing it. They're looking for a jump from $126 billion to $135 billion. Not quite sure where they're going to get that from, but let's go take a look at Bank of America. I think Bank of America is going to come out with numbers tomorrow. Okay, so 18th. Okay, so it's not, it's, that's Monday, I believe. Bank of America right now, that is going into its high volume low. The high volume low there is 38.21. We got the 38.36. Let's put this on a weekly. Yeah, we'll see what happens when it gets down there. 
Uh, bottom line, that's where it's going. Uh, NDX 100. Let's go let's take a look at the strength in the NDX 100. Uh, what you got here, let's see. What's that, Z scaler? Yeah, Z scale is up 8.5%. You get Zoom up 8, 8%. Moderna is up 8%. And you got uh, Marriott up 8%. Taken away from it. PayPal's down 2.8%. Synopsis is off 1%. Activision, nothing. It's 6 tenths of 1%. Let's go over to. I want to look at this Marriott for a second. So Marriott's up 12 bucks. This is probably on the Delta deal. They would, you know, it's not that they, they were, yeah, data talk, Mercedes. Okay, so let's look at this one. Marriott Bonvoy puts members in a pole position to win. Let's see what this is. Mercedes-Benz LLC is facing a new lay. Oh, no, that's not it. I gotta see this for a second. What is this? Marriott Bonvoy, this is Marriott's international extraordinary portfolio of 30 brand hotels, is offering members a once in a life opportunity to take, a, take in the Monaco Grand Prix from a VIP yacht chartered by Mercedes AMG team. Let's see, the package is now available. Well, I wonder how many points you need for this. <laughs> Members will be able to use their points in an auction to win the unforgettable experience. Hey, we'll see what happens there, man. <laughs> that would be a trip, but I'm sure that's going to be millions and millions of points. I can't picture that you can, you're going to win a... Yeah, I just can't see it. Okay, so let's go take a look at this market. So you get a market that's running, there's no doubt about that. Um, we'll see if it can get to the highs of yesterday. We just took out a B point intraday of an ABC up. That's a, it's a small one, but it, it took it out. You can see that volume right there. We did 25,000 contracts versus 18. Uh, so that would get you, let's see, 16. That's 20, 21 points actually, so that's 44. We're at 42 right now. So it's 44, 44, 44. That's the A to B equals C to D. And the high of yesterday was the uh, 44, 66. And right now you're at 44, 43. We go to the NQs, we take a look at the NQs out here. Let's see if the NQs also did it intraday ABC structure on the way up and okay so this one didn't this gets interesting and the reason that this didn't is that you can see that when we pull back on the NQs you know the the A point is 14,166 well then we pull back we got to 14,132 uh, so that's too much of a Contra it's more than a 0.618. That's, that's my point more than anything. And if we get over and we take a look at the cues, so the question is on the cues, when you're taking a look at the, the bar that it went into, is a high volume bar. So the question is, is this, is that this high volume bar that's out there on the 16th, bottom line is that we came into that yesterday and we did come into that with 72 million versus 105. So you did come into that with Light of volume, no doubt about that. That being said, this is still an ABC structure on the way down. You get your A point that's laid out here at 369. You get your B uh, that was down here at uh, 340, and your C would have been the high of yesterday. So my take is that that's still an ABC down. You get 317 coming out yet. When we have a, so picture this, that, that happens a lot in the context of whether you're going up or going down. And when that happens, I stick with the ABC structures. That's the real bottom line. And I stick with it. We're, we're in a down market. We're not in an up market. You know, so whatever, whatever part, the larger part, I basically stick with. And that's where, that's where we are at this particular point. The XAU. Let's go take a look at the XAU and the HUI. XAU right now, that is over its highs, up 361. This is gonna be because Newmont's at new all-time highs. 
And Newmont, you know, we'll, we'll do Newmont in a second. Newmont only has to be a few more points away from, it hasn't really broken topside yet. So we're at 167. Oh, this is going to get interesting. Look at this. Ooh. It's, wow. This is pretty cool, man. You know, what we did last week, you can see what we did, I mean, last month, you can see the size of that volume, man. It was a monster. We did a 990 million versus seven. That's saying it's going to break topside. We break topside. It's a monster ABC up. In fact, it's 62. It's 100 point, 103 point, which gets you 219. I like that, man. Stay right there. Come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up 333. You get the NASDAQ up 290. S&Ps are up 50. Let's go to Mike in Long Island. Hey, Mike, what's going on, brother? Hi. How you doing, man? Good, good. How are you? Good. Yeah, I have an option for TQQQ. And wanted to know what do you think of TQQQ? And when does the option expire? Uh, option expire next month. Next month, okay. But I wanted to sell by tomorrow. Okay, cool. Okay, so, and what strike price do you have on the option? Oh, so, yeah, it's a, uh, sorry, it's uh, expiring on April 29th, 50. Strike price is 50. 50, okay, cool. Okay, so... The TQQQ is an exchange-traded fund. The fund results that we saw three times the daily performance of the NASDAQ 100. Okay, so you're up 310 today. 
You have the 50. You have... What's the premium in the 50 right now? Here, one second. Let me see this. Uh, 345. 345. Okay, so... Real question is, do you wait for another day? Well... Yeah, if, you fit, if, if we finish right here, I just wait till tomorrow. Because what you have tomorrow is this, is that you're going into a long weekend. You know, my take is this on an ABC structure down. But the bottom line, you get an up market today. More than likely going into the long weekend to be light volume. We'll probably fill this gap. That gap there is uh, 5150. What's it trading right now? One second. It's pretty close to that. Um, you know, most times on holiday weekends... You know, if they can get it up the day before, you know, that'll get a little bit higher. So that'd be another point. The real question is if you're selling tomorrow. See, this is where this gets tough, Mike, right? So mm -hmm. you're in the money right now, right? Yes. Just sell it. I'd sell it. Because what happens on a, a Thursday on a long weekend, you really shouldn't even be trading. Because what's going to happen, you, you'll, it, there's light volume. It's going to go back and forth a bit. And an option on a triple in general, okay, if the market does go, opens down tomorrow, which I think this is an ABC down, okay, you're going to lose all, you're going to lose your money like in two seconds. Yeah, you know, yeah. You know, so, you know, once you're in, you're, you know, you're in the money, I'd take it, man, because you were certainly out of the money until today, right? Yes, yes, I was out. Yeah. That's, I guess that's my point more than anything. All of a sudden, you get a second chance, right? <laughs> okay, so should I ro roll over or? I wouldn't roll it. No, I wouldn't roll it. See, I'm, okay. I'm bearish. You're going bullish on that anyway. But I wouldn't roll it today. It, it, no matter which way you do it, the reason being is that tomorrow is going to be a strange day. Right, right, right. You see what I'm saying? That way you can get your bread back. Make a little profit. Start again on Monday. Because when we come back on Monday, the, the next holiday is until May, uh, May 30th. So you get right. there's, a good, there's a good run there. You see what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. That's kind of the way I play that. Okay. Okay, good. So I'll sell it there. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe Thank one. Thank you. Appreciate it. Let's go take a look at the uh, small caps, folks. So the IWM. We pull up the IWM on here, the small caps. Those are also coming up with light volume. You can see what happened yesterday. Yesterday did 33 million, did 17 million today. We'll see if we can get over that price point. That price point is 201.68, and we've made it to 201.45. And if it does that, then that would also fill the gap above it, which is the 202.51. The uh, Amazon. So Amazon, this is pretty wild, man. Uh, Amazon, you know, today's up 80 bucks. Let me see what this. Right now, it's trading up, uh, it's trading up 103 bucks right now, so it's accelerating. And what you have there, folks, okay, the Amazon put a 5% inflation kicker. Uh, Amazon's going to levy a 5% fuel and inflation fee on online merchants that use shipping services, according to the documents released, uh, reviewed by Bloomberg. Now, listen to this, man. Do 5%, I think it's of uh, 120 billion. <laughs> Because this, this has to do, okay, the surcharge is going to start April 28th, um, and there was a number in here that they, this is one quarter of their, uh, yeah, there it is. The company had seller service revenue of $30 billion in the quarter that ended in December. So, well, that's probably one of their best quarters anyway. But you're, talk, you're talking about 5%, 30, so yeah, $120 billion. 5%, 120 billion. Billion. They're going to be basically taking in a lot of bread. And that is going to, of course, go towards inflation, goes towards the oil price, go towards the trucks, all of the above. Um, you know, that being said, it's really intriguing. What, what is happening out here also, simultaneously, is that shipping. Shipping is slowing down in a big way. You know, shipping slowdown exposes vulnerability of U.S. economic growth. Heavy truck sales in the U.S. are a good leading indicator of economic activity, and 65% of the dollar value of North American freight moved by trucks. But new truck sales have been falling sharply, and now are down 23% on an annual basis. New cars falling at the similar rate. And then if we get into the shipping aspect, freight volume has been 
slowing annual growth in containers loaded at the Port of Los Angeles is steadily heading down to zero after hitting 20% last year. Uh, lockdowns in China are clearly having an impact. Cities and regions accounting for 40% of China's GDP are full are in a partial lockdown. The Shanghai Freight Index is 13% uh, lower than it was six weeks ago. The sharpest decline in the 10-year history. I can tell you flat out, I got a container out of Shanghai. It's on the, on the way to Tampa right now. And when I was getting the quotes, I was biting a bullet anyway. I was getting the quotes. So the way it works with these freight quotes, folks, okay, they, they go all over the place. I got the quote at 19100 so I, I, I bit the bullet and said, I'm going to do it anyway. Bottom line, I'm only paying 14300 <laughs> And that's already, so, so picture, the container's already on the ship, already on the way over. The, the, the bottom line, the way this works is that when you're doing business with them anyway, they'll put it on the ship. You know, if you don't pay the freight, you're not going to get, you know, the, the your goods, because I still have to pay, do, have duty tax when it comes in. Uh, but that was a good contraction, a very fast contraction from where I got the quote versus what the actual freight was. You know, it was another, I said another like four, 4,500 bucks. But just to give you an idea, two years ago, that same container was $1,750. Well, that, that's before COVID. So a little over two and two and a half years ago. So the, the, the difference is dramatic. There's no two ways about that. We go take a look at the NVIDIA, NVDA. These chip stocks want a lot lower price, folks. They're bouncing around like crazy, but what you're gonna see here is that every time you get a bounce, they, I mean, it's pretty amazing that you had NVIDIA down to, in March, it was down to 306, It, I mean 206. It bounced to 289, and now it's back at 225. And this also is coming back up with light volume. You'll build a couple days of cause, and it looks to me that this baby's gonna basically bust loose. And when I say bust loose, you know, these high volume lows out here are laying here at uh, 208. And of course, the high out there is uh, 346. And with NVIDIA, in, that's, that's how NVIDIA likes to trade too. That's, that's the thing that's absolutely bizarre about NVIDIA. Stay right there, folks, come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. Pedro White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? 
Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. To Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 350, Nasdaq's up 294, S&P's up 53. Yeah, let's go... Uh, and I can tell you, you know, we, I just talked about the Discord room, folks, okay? Get over there. Um, I'm telling you, there's so many great ideas. I mean, you know, one of the traders in there is just, you know, basically saying, hey, GM's a confirmed ABC structure down, and it is. Check this out, man. This, this is saying quite a bit. This is actually pretty wild. So you can see quite clearly, let me do it this way. I'm going to do it. This is a ABC down on the daily, an ABC down on the weekly. I mean, you name it, it's an ABC down. So look at this. Your eight, your eight point here on this weekly, 55 going down to 39, right? So they call it 40. That's 15 points. That's going to say that we're going to 31. We're at 40. Your B point on this was uh, 25 million shares. You took it out with 29 million. Now look at this one, though. This is where this gets really interesting because you put this in a weekly. And it's like, okay, is the A right from the top to the, the bottom? It, it certainly can be. And that is saying 67 down to 40, okay, 27, 28 points, and then 28 off 46, okay? So you start, they're talking about 18 bucks and $18. Actually, this makes sense. Interesting. Because $18, look at this. That's going to be the top. Twenty-two dollars is the top, the highs of the low, and that's a high volume low. This is like, for all the talk about, you know, the amount of cars that you cannot buy, uh, we have a, <laughs> we have a problem in paradise here, folks. Uh, that's pretty intense. Let me look at Ford and see if it's the same way. So we take a look at Ford. Put this on a weekly. It is. Look at this. Whoops, close that. This is, man. Yeah, we're going into a recession, man. Okay, so that's 25, 15, 10 bucks. That's saying seven bucks again. It's over here. Well, that <laughs> that is pretty intense. There's no doubt. There's no doubt about it. TSLA. Let's go take a look at Tesla. Tesla right now. Let me put this on a weekly. Tesla's still hanging up there, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean Tesla came back down to you know basically. We've been trading for a while with top side. You are contracting on volume. There's no doubt about that. If we take a look at the... So Tesla only has a short position of 3% right now. Revenue-wise, they're, they're going to do $87 billion this year, and they're going to make $10.63. The real kicker on the amount that... Um, we're all paying for gas. I'm sure these electric vehicles, uh, they're going to get a pop. I mean, they, well, they have got a pop, and they're not going to come down as much. That's how they're shaking out. Let's go to the Gold Bugs Index. We had, actually, I'm going to go to the GDX, because the GDX has volume. We had looked at the XAU. So the GDX right now 
It's just launching its high, and we're going to need more volume on the GDX. Let's put this on a weekly. Bring this back a bit. Okay, so this swing over here, 134. Okay, so this is cool. So watch this. So the swing that it's trying to take out is this 4013. Now we're over it right now, but this but on a weekly basis. So the first time we were up here, it had 34, 134 million. Then we came up with 224 and gave it up on price. When you do that, you, you, you know, you've heard of me say this a million times. You go right back topside again. Well, we're going back topside. The number that's got to launch and get away from is that 4013. We get that, and we get big action. I'll go over to Newmont, because Newmont is driving all of these equities, meaning uh, the XAU, the HUI, as well as the GDX, because it's the largest weighting in all of them. Now, Newmont's starting to get there. I mean, the highs that it took out was 80.75. We're at 84.05, uh, 07. Newmont also needs more volume. We, it just doesn't have it yet. Let's go to a Barrick, G-O-L-D. Because the thing that's amazing about Barrick is that, you know, Rangel, oh, this is, is this the highs too? I don't think so. I think Newmont has a much higher high than this, I believe. I mean, Barrick, yeah, it does. Look at this. And whatever they did. So you get Barrick, that's, that's a big leg. Look at this. 2011, we were up at a price point of 54. You're only at 25. And you get a lot of these equities. Look at EGO. This one is, looks like it's going to be a little rocket ship, man. It's taken out a triple top. You're up 42 cents right now. And yeah, you get game here, man. This, it's not an ABC up, but this thing is game up to this uh, 1449. And some of the silver stocks, yeah. Endeavor's moving. This is a personality stock, man. This thing can move. Like in five days, the stock just went up from 444 to 555. We put this on a weekly. Oh, this is the one I was looking at coming up to the triple top. Okay, cool. But you can see the last time you were up here, you had volume, man. This thing wants to go. This thing wants to get up to this 595. We'll see if we get the volume to break top side. Let me put this on a monthly for a second. Okay. It's pretty wild. 2011, you still had a 1310. So what's pretty wild about these golds, folks, is this. So picture this. This is what time does, which is really wild. Is that 2011 was the last run in gold. Okay? With 2022, now watch this. GC, because I want to show you something. Because in 2011... And this is where it comes into the aspect. Okay, so let's bring this. I'll put this on a 20-year generic chart. Come on. Okay, so 2011, we got to 1920. We're at 1976. Yeah, I see what it's doing. Okay. So we still got to get away from that quite a bit. We're only 50 bucks over that. It's not there yet. We want to get over that level. Um... What we are going to have, this is what is going to happen, though. Certain goals, right, in order to get ore out of the ground, folks, it takes a huge amount of energy. Some of the energy um, gets done by hydro. So if it's hydro, bottom line, it's, you know, that's like there's not a cost structure into that, not a cost structure like oil. The ones that run on oil, that's what, that's going to be a lot of money, man. The ones on natural gas, better. There's, there's a, there are a few of them that are on natural gas. So th those are going to be the headwinds inside of the gold market in general. Um, you know, because these energy costs are basically going to hit everywhere. Then the next thing that will be is like, okay, where are you doing business? Are you doing business in Canada? Are you doing business in Australia? Are you doing business in Indonesia? Are you doing business in Africa? Or are you doing business in Las Vegas? I mean, uh, Nevada, because Nevada has a huge amount of, you know, gold companies, no doubt about that. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. We have the Dow. Dow Industry is up 344, NASDAQ's up 282, S&P's up 50. Don't forget about, about our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. He's going to be riding that wave for all the subscribers in 10 minutes. And you can jump over right now, subscribe, get in that Discord room, and be growling a prowl with our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. Come right back, folks. 
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 335. We've got the NASDAQ up 273. S&Ps are up 48. Let's go take a look at the uh, indice volume out here we did with the SPY first, folks. SPY right now... We are trading up 480, and uh, yeah, you get 61 million versus 84. So you don't have a juice in it, and tomorrow will be less. We take a look at the NDX 100, the three Qs. You're at 55 versus, I think, 74 or something. Yeah, 72. Same type of setup. The Qs look like they may get into that gap tomorrow morning. We'll see how that shakes out. Uh, we do need more, more volume in the uh, gold contract. Uh, it's holding price. We take a look at the small caps out here, the IWM, and that hasn't reached the high of yesterday, uh, but that also has a contraction, 33 million versus, uh, well, 19 million versus 33 million. So, uh, and the, the, that's the ETF volume. The indice volume is going to be a monster, meaning contraction. Right now, you're at 543 million versus 927. Now, that will do like 800. But we haven't done 800 in a long time, folks. Well, the last time we did it, on March 24th, we did 879. And prior to that, if we go back to, uh, what is this, 5, 10, 15, 30, 45. So this is approximately two and a half months when you're kind of looking at it. There's 21, average, it averages 21 trading days per month. Uh, that is a monster contraction, as is on the NASDAQ composite. This is going to be a big contraction. 
Your well, maybe it won't be that big. We're at 4.3 right now. Yeah, we did 4.9 yesterday. So that, that, that might be three, four minutes. That can do four or five hundred uh, million in three or four minutes at the close. We'll see where that one shakes out. Uh, but needless to say, uh, what you can expect out here tomorrow, you're going to get a big contraction of volume before we kick into the holiday weekend. Always remember, folks, the bank and claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show. Look at him, folks. Building